hello welcome to lenny plans i am doing another plan with me today i'll be planning out week three of 2022 um it's a little bit later uh, than usual so uh, this video probably won't be dropping until um a little bit later than what you guys might usually expect it is uh sunday evening uh here and my kids are in bed so um i've stolen a, a little bit of time to myself um, in order to get my head around to the week ahead, uh, which is really, really important for me. Um, now, you probably noticed that there is a new cover here. I actually had a delivery during the week um, from Galen Leather, uh, and I actually filmed an unboxing uh, and not so cleverly managed to delete it. So, um, I'm really sorry that I don't have an unboxing for you guys um, to have a look at that. Uh, but here you can see that this is the undyed um, folio in B6. Um, and I've been using it for a few days now already. Um, I also got an A6 for my work. Now I don't usually show you my work planner, but I wanted to show you. Um, so I did show at least the outside of it in, in the unboxing so this is the purple which is so pretty i kind of wanted the purple for the b6 as well but they didn't have any in stock um so i thought that's okay it's nice to have two different ones anyway um so i'll show you really quickly um so the this one actually houses the the a6 planner which um it is you will notice it is actually with the pens that i'm using pressing on the planner just a little bit um, it really doesn't bother me for my work planner. I think if it was my B6, I don't know how I'd feel about that. Um, but this is so helpful for me with work because I can fit four of my mild liners and this is a pilot acro ball. This is the two plus one. So that has the, a lead pencil, a red pen, and this one has the blue, which I don't mind using for work. Um, so yeah, that actually is really helpful for me. And I also, let me just check. I don't have anything in there that's um, confidential. I've popped in a little adhesive pocket as well. Um, and I've got a, a Hobonichi stencil and then that's my work ID as well. So I can fit a few things in there, which is really nice. And then there's space in the back for some cards and things like that. Um, and then because the zip, it holds it all together. If you're using a planner with bookmarks in a zipped folio, always make sure to tuck these up um, when you go, cause they will get caught. I have tabs on the top as well. They are coffee monsters co, um, ones and they do fit actually. I wasn't sure how that would go. There's probably a little bit of, um, a little bit of bending there, but I honestly get that just from carrying it around anyway. So, um, yeah, so that's pretty good. I'm really impressed with that. Um, yeah, so that was my excitement for the week and that is my very quick rundown <laughs> on my delivery and I'm really sorry that I didn't have um, the video to show you guys because uh, I was really excited. Um, yeah, so this is what I have been housing my B6 in um, and I've actually been using it as my wallet this week and carrying it around so I've got my cards in there as well. Um, and I've got a pen and I've got a water brush and I've got some of my... Um, I've got a uh, Viviva um, watercolor um, travel watercolors. Um, that is not going in so easily. Oh, I've got a. Um, I also have just a cloth that I keep in with the paints. Um, haven't really had a chance to use it yet, but I'm optimistic. Hence why it's in there. Um, what else might be new? I don't know if you guys have seen my page anchor. I love these. I find it really helpful. Um, if I am doing anything for any length of time, um, it just helps it to hold flat. Um, you put it in between and it holds flat depending on where you are. Um, so that's useful on the run. Um, yeah, otherwise, Let's get you into the week that was. Now this looks super busy and probably looks really different to what you saw um, when I had finished last week. Um, so this was my um, 
my crime scene spread because we did um, CSI clued up yesterday and we solved it. It was amazing. It was so much fun. Here are some of the photos. Um, sorry, hang on. Let me. Here are some of the photos from it. Um, so this was uh, my friend and I and my hubby and my two boys and um, these are my friend's kids as well. And they actually won the littlest, the little detectives um, portion of the day. So that's really fun. Um, so that was a massive highlight this week. Um, I had Queens of Mystery season two, season two start on Monday. I watched that. My son has been doing some cooking, which has been lovely. Um, Tuesday, I had a little bit of work. Wednesday, I worked during the day. It was actually really nice to be back. Uh, I was a little bit sort of... Um, not nervous but just a little bit kind of disappointed I think at how fast the holidays felt like they went um and I wasn't sure how I was going to feel going back to work but I really do love my job so that helps um and so once I got there it was great I was working outdoors and I had the funniest experience on Wednesday where it was raining like bucketing down I was sitting underneath the shelter and I had my raincoat on with my back to the rain so that I, I didn't have the rain completely saturate my back. Um, and then as I left the shelter, I put my hood on my head and it was full of water. So I got like a bucket full of water uh, tip over my head, which was hysterically funny. And I laughed a lot, as did a number of the people who were around. So that was really funny. Um, thought I would share that with you guys. I also shared that with my personal social media. <laughs> I think I gave everyone a good laugh that day. Um, Thursday we had uh, our dogs groomed and we had a photo shoot that was the competition that we won um, it was a company called Minzoe and they were amazing actually I hadn't intended to uh, invest too much we were going to get a photo shoot and a photo and I was like that's lovely it'll be a nice family photo um, but they really captured the kids beautifully um, in terms of their personality and um, the shoot was a little bit quirky they actually let me bring like my planner with me so I actually have a photo um, with my planner and some paintbrushes and stuff so that was really um, that was really cool I haven't got the photos from that yet they should come in another month or two um, they're actually photoshopping them and finishing them um, so yeah I will share those with you guys when they come um, but yeah, that was incredible. Uh, Friday, we mostly just relaxed. Um, my sister-in-law brought the kids to our nearby park and the kids had a little bit of play outdoors, but otherwise we were just sort of chilling out. Uh, Saturday, yesterday was clued up. And um, today I just had a lot of things to get done, um, but we did end up visiting the beach um, for a little bit. The uh, I would imagine that you guys have heard about the uh, tsunami that's hit uh, Tonga and we've got some pretty wild and woolly weather uh, in the oceans on our coast at the moment um, and so yeah we went out just to have a little bit of a sticky beak um, stayed well clear of it obviously um, we don't have a tsunami here um, but yeah just the ocean was wild and it was a little bit eerie actually you could sort of feel that it was just not quite the same level of um, chaos so yeah that was today um, so yeah, hope you guys enjoy that. I'm pretty happy with this. It's a very busy spread, but um, that's sort of the nature of this kit, I think. Um, so yeah, pretty happy with that. So I'm going to jump in and plan out week three. Um, we'll see how we go planning in the planner. I may have to pull it out. I'll see how that goes. Um, and I'm also really sorry if you can hear a strange noise in the background. We have frogs here um, and they do not sound like a traditional frog. Um, but yes, so they can be a little bit intrusive. Uh, so the kit that I'm going to be using for the coming week is a Sarah Beth Plans kit um, and it's the Wonderland Forest Fairy in the B6 size. So this is specific to the Wonderland 222 um, and I just love this one. I love that it's got little mushrooms and fairies and um, you can choose your foiling option. If you've seen my channel before you will have probably seen this but you get to choose your foiling option. Um, with each kit and I chose a rose gold with this one um, so yeah 
that's the kit that I'm going to be using for today. Um, so I'm going to pop out some background music and speed it up so that you are not seeing me wrestling with stickers as usual. Um, I hope you enjoy.
okay so as you can see um i am back into the swing of things with some of my work because i'm not at school i can be a little bit flexible so i've got a little bit of work uh, tomorrow morning on monday um, and friday morning and then i'm working solidly on wednesday i'll still have tuesday and thursday off which is really nice um jujitsu is back and um you might have noticed i actually ordered some custom stickers from Natty Planning. I believe they only ship to Australia, but it's worth keeping an eye out because um, they're beautiful stickers. I love her heart script, as you can see. She's got a couple of different fonts. Um, this is the one that I use or have used the most in the past. Um, and then the custom ones that I got, let's see, where are they? Um, so these are the jujitsu ones, but I also had, uh, oh my goodness, what have I done with them? Oh, here we go. Here's a few of the others. Um, so these are the other two custom ones that I've got. And there's also a number of others there as well. So I got essentially the kids extracurriculars um, in the Icy Blast colours because um, they're kind of my favorite colors. So I got swimming, music, and then jujitsu. Um, the reason why these look skinnier is because I've actually cut it out. So they are um, reaching around while I try and find the rest of it. Um, so they are actually 3.8 centimeters in width. Um, and so I've just trimmed it down for the, the basics columns. Um, I just measured it up and then chopped it out on my guillotine. And then as you saw, it was really easy to, to lift up. Now, her stickers are vinyl and removable. Um, so they're really easy to reposition if you need to. They're not ideal for writing on unless you use permanent marker um, or some kind of alcohol-based marker. Um, but as you can see, I generally get the script stickers if I'm going to um, use her, her stickers. Um, but they're beautiful. I'll pop a link to her shop below anyway. Um, and yeah, I, this is my first time ordering custom, um, custom words. Um, and I'm really happy with them. It's super cute. Um, I'm looking forward to using those and I will probably order more of those as well. Um, yeah, they'll probably fit most of the colors that I ever use. <laughs> Uh, in my planner um yeah so i've got a few other tasks to get organized for um i've got to catch up with some old work colleagues and i'm going to order a picnic box to go with that um i'm on attendance taking a welcoming at church on sunday which means i will be there in person uh, we did it online this morning um i've got planning and laundry and meal planning and grocery shopping, all the usual things that I have to do. Laundry, so much laundry. I'm behind on folding, so that's what I have to do tomorrow. We'll see, hopefully. I do have a book dropping as well, so we'll see where my priorities go with that. <laughs> um, but yeah, otherwise a fairly straightforward week. Uh, we don't have any specific social events planned. Uh, it's, the, it's really my last week of holidays. Um, the kids still have one more week after after I do, um, where well, hubby will be looking after them. Um, but yeah, I'm sort of just trying to take it easy and, um, see what happens just in terms of COVID cases and things like that. Most people I know are being very flexible with what they have on, um, because yeah, people are going into isolation unexpectedly and, um, things like that. So, so far we have been lucky. Touch wood um but yeah we'll see how we go well i hope you enjoyed watching me plan through if you have any questions about anything you've seen please do let me know um i'll as usual i'll drop the the shops below uh, so that you can find them for yourself i hope you have a great week whatever you're doing and i'll see you next time bye